But somebody said, well, would you ever consider running for president here in the States? And I said, no, I think we've had enough boobs in the White House. Asking Dolly Parton about politics is worse than asking a lady about how many men she slept with. You might get slapped or flat out embarrassed. Yet somehow, people keep doing it. I count two more political quips from Dolly in this video packed with times she filleted the interviewer up like a human Ronco knife set. I'm Addison Hager and that's Billy Dukes, shall we? Let's. This interview was from 2012 with Ross King. So many different talents that you have. And I've often heard your fans say, what about politics? <laughs> <laughs> what about it? Okay, stop right there. Ross King is a pro, but dang, she made him feel like he needed to retake Journalism 101. But she continues. <laughs> I hate politics. Is that the answer? That's the no answer. No way. I always hear. But somebody said, well, would you ever consider running for president here in the States? And I said, no, I think we've had enough boobs in the White House. So it's kind of like, no, I don't think so. Flash forward six years when Nightline's David Wright tried to get Dolly to call President Donald Trump sexist. It got uncomfortable. But you know what? Good on ABC for allowing us to see it all unfurl. Meanwhile, I'm over here like this. Roll the clip. I'm not being political. I don't do politics. I'm not getting into any of that because I have a lot of fans out there and I don't want to offend anybody. And besides, I just don't get into that. And so if you are deciding you may want to ask me something more serious, don't because I'm not going to answer it. <laughs> Fair warning. Okay. I I'm, stand, I'm not going to. I'm gonna, I mean, yeah. I'm I might gonna, still ask. Well, you can ask, but I might still tell you where to put it if I don't know where you got it. <laughs> Please consider tapping if you're enjoying videos like this so far because we do list videos almost weekly. And we love sharing news and highlights from the careers of classic country artists like Dolly Parton. I really think you'll find a home here. Sometimes when asking the questions should know better, but not always. Back to 1988 we go when this fan asked a question during an ABC variety show. <laughs> Why is it always ABC? Hi, Dolly. Okay, I'm asking you a question on behalf of myself and my school. I'm an editor of my school newspaper in Simi Valley. Mm -hmm. um, the question is, if you could tell teenagers of America today one thing, whether it be advice or something of support, what would it be? I would say, act like it's raining every day and wear your rubbers. <laughs> okay, can we rewind for a second? How about that pause between I would say and act like it's raining? It's in that moment that Dolly thought to herself, WTF. I would say, act like it's raining every day and wear your rubbers. <laughs> Frankly, we're all better her throwing caution to the wind. And you know, as the father of three boys, I might call Dolly in a few years to talk to my kids. It's really not the worst advice. Is there anyone else in country music who is just as outspoken but never controversial than Dolly? Let us know in the comments. Thumbs up if Dolly is your true north. We've got the time she stumbled coming up. Spoiler alert, it involves Johnny Carson. But first, here's Dolly with some no-nonsense opinions on the Black Lives Matter movement. But I do understand people uh, having to make themselves known and felt and seen. And of course, Black Lives Matter. Do we think our little white asses are the only ones that matter? No, everybody matters. I'm here for Dolly Parton pulling out the curse words. A lot of people point to the late 70s interview with Barbara Walters as a time that Dolly shut down a reporter, but she more held her own. See for yourself. Um, show business is a money-making joke, and I've just always liked telling jokes. You know? But do you ever feel that you're a joke, that people make fun of you? Oh, I know they make fun of me. But actually, all these years, the people, you know, have has thought the joke was on me, but it's actually been on the public. I will say that she's quietly sensitive about people getting too funny about how she looks, as she should be. In 2020, talk to RuPaul of all people for Marie Claire, and he tried to say they were similar, but at the end of the day, she doesn't go out without the hair and makeup on. Dolly says, quote, well, I don't. I have to always stay ready, street ready. Like when I'm in LA, if it's gonna earthquake, if we get an earthquake, I'm not running out in the street looking like you now. Oh snap! I'd love to know if we're missing something. Drop a comment below and please consider subscribing because we're always up for a part two. At the risk of being demonetized, we're just going to play this last clip in full. It's Dolly talking to Johnny Carson in 1977. Remember two things here. One, it was the 70s. And two, Johnny had a running gag about the size of Dolly's chest. Also, the Webster's definition of soft tig 
is having a full, rounded figure or plump. Okay, play it. You've always been rather uh, zoftic. Um. <laughs> what, what would they call that where you grew up in Tennessee? In a zoftic, I can't uh, say. Healthy? Uh, healthy, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Young, I've always I mean, been uh, pretty well blessed. People are always uh, asking if they're real. And, oh, I, no, I would uh, never. I would I never, you see. No, you don't have to ask. I would not. I'll tell you what. These are mine. I have certain guidelines on this. <laughs> uh, I use this. Like, but I would give about a year's pay to peek under there. <laughs> Kudos to Johnny Carson for being the only interviewer who could get Dolly to crack. I'm Billy Dukes. And I'm Addison Hager. Thanks for watching. And as always, thanks for subscribing.